What's going on? It's Friday. Okay, hang on, my internet's slow today. I'm gonna share a love. And I'm back, hi. Happy Friday, everyone. I cannot type, my fat fingers. Ah, hang on, hold the phone. Um, okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Hi, Maggie! All right, I need my fan. <laughs> I cannot put makeup on without a fan blowing on me. Maybe it's my old age. T-G-I-F, I know. Hi, Elizabeth! Good morning! Okay, <laughs> we are gonna go from mom to hot mom this morning. I've got my coffee. All right. So let's just get started. I'm doing a full face makeup. Oh, Maverick, can you do me a favor? Can you bring me a box of tissue? It's in the laundry room. Hi, Jackie. Okay, so I'm, st I'm stripping it like raw. And no one, Maverick, you could just throw it to me. No one will see you. <laughs> He's in his underwear. Okay. Go into the laundry room and get me a box of tissue. Okay, so I'm stripping it raw. I haven't even put on my skincare. So I'm gonna go from start to finish, like from skincare all the way through to lips, start to finish. So hang tight with me if you'd like, ask questions throughout if you like. Hi, Peg. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay. Uh, share this video if you think that you know somebody else. Thank you, that would benefit from this. Hang on, I'm getting my tissue. Great raw. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're raw. <laughs> Although I did my hair. Wait till you guys see my before picture because I didn't do my hair. I round brushed it and it was like a bowl. Wait till you see it. It's crazy. So, hi, Nora. It's crazy. I had mom hair. I fixed the mom hair, okay? And um, now we're gonna fix the mom face. And I be I and I I say that with good intentions. All right, it's a humorous thing. I mean, no disrespect for the moms out there that don't wear makeup and don't want to wear makeup. Hey, more power to you. Okay. The reason why I do it is because it makes me feel beautiful. It makes me feel confident. It makes me feel hot. My husband jokes that I have. He's like, do I get? Jackie, natural Jackie or makeup Jackie? And he says he loves both of them equally. <laughs> Good morning, Caitlin. Okay, so I'm starting off with uh, rose water. So I, like, I, I didn't even do my skincare this morning because I wanted to show you exactly what I do to transform my face. So I've washed my face, okay? I've washed my face already, and this is rose water, which I'm telling you, rose water is magical. <laughs> I knew it was wonderful. I just broke a nail and I'm really kind of bummed about it. <laughs> it. I knew it was magical until I, but I didn't know it was that magical until I went to a skincare class and realized, oh my gosh, rose water is like magic. Oh, thank you. I was just, yeah, thank you. Elizabeth, um, I'm on the hunt for new earrings, so I need to uh, mix it up. I'm kind of a simple girl. I wear a lot of simple makeup, but my earrings are the only thing that I kind of go nuts with. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is put on, this is instant, no, this is not instant. It is Uplift Beauty Serum. And um, hello, if you're over the age of 35, you need this. I know Caitlin, right? Rose water is amazing. So I will put this, this is a, some, I do this morning and night. I put this under my eyes in the morning because I have wrinkly skin under there and I tend to get fine lines or crepey look without it. So it provides a lot more moisture, okay, to the areas that I need it in. And I also put it on my upper lip because, you know, I get the lines there. Okay, so that goes on and then I'll take my hydration. Okay, hi Donna. And I will put some moisturizer on my face. And this moisturizer has SPF 20 in it, you guys. So, um, hello, if you're fighting wrinkles, <laughs> if you want anti-aging, you need to wear SPF. <clears throat> to protect your face from the sun. So, hot mom gets your attention. We're working on it, Craig. We're getting there. 
We're going from mom to hot mom. <laughs> okay, so got a little moisturizer on. Good morning, Brenda. And then we are going to, the last thing that I do is I put on instant lifting serum. Okay, so this has long-term benefits, but it also has short-term results. So you don't need very much, just a little bit. And you're gonna dab this in your problem areas as well. So again, I kind of go in here, and basically what it does is it softens and smooths out fine lines and wrinkles. Yep, hello, I'll take that all day. Okay, it's, uh, it's not as good as Botox, okay, but it's, it's, you know, it's ranked up, it's stacked up there, okay? If you want to permanently smooth that area out, you gotta go get Botox, girlfriend, but if you can't afford Botox, then hey, I got you covered. You are going to need instant lifting serum, which I use religiously every day, and I always, like, it's my under eye area that I want it to be, like, really smooth, so these are the magical secrets. Uh, to getting my skin to look as best as possible. And I always say, great makeup starts with great skincare, okay? Often I'll get someone who'll say to me, I can't get my makeup to look like yours, and then I'll peel it back and ask them about their skincare, and that solves the problem right there. Because we gotta work on their skincare. Oh, I was gonna use BB cream today. Yeah, let me go get it. Hey, I'm a hot, I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. So I'm gonna do BB cream today. This is the color Bisque, which is really too light for me, but I am also going to mix it with um, concealer, okay? Um, you love your BB cream. I know, Caitlin, isn't it awesome? I ordered two more of my color, I'm totally out. So I'm using BB cream, I'm gonna mix it with concealer. So if you're looking for a little more oomph to your BB cream, which by the way, BB cream is a tinted moisturizer, you can mix concealer with it to give it heavier coverage not heavy on the face just more coverage so we call that the bb brew and i'm trying to think i'm gonna do bisque and i think i'm gonna mix it with um chiffon so i'll show you my little cocktail hi chani okay bb cream concealer is amazing for you jackie i know right it's just amazing coverage you guys are gonna see so i'm taking a color that's clearly too light for me and i'm gonna mix it with I'll show you. Chiffon, I'm almost kind of tempted to mix it with satin, but I think we're gonna stick with chiffon. So here's my concealer, um, and you mix it with concealer for your under eyes. That's a really good idea too, Caitlin. I'm gonna do a highlight though today under my eyes. So this is my, this is my you can see my concoction there, right? A little bit of concealer and a lot of BB cream, probably way too much BB cream. I always do too much. And then I'm gonna take a little foundation brush and I'm gonna mix it up. And uh, girls, this is the back of my rose water lid. <laughs> and then we're going to paint this on my face. So BB cream is my um, foundation that I use in the winter, the fall winter, because my skin gets dry. And I'm telling you, if you want to fight the effects of aging, okay, Having dry skin is one thing that you do not want. You want moisture, 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 moisture. So as the weather changes and you need more moisture in your face, your makeup might change. And it does for me, so I wear BB cream. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think I did a good concoction. So I'm going to, you can use your fingers to put this on your face. I have really sensitive skin, as you can see, I have redness in that area where I cover all that up. And so I prefer to use tools And if you noticed, I'm not swiping, like I'm actually painting, you know? Okay, it's dabbing motions. You're gonna get better coverage that way. So you kinda just dab it on. BB cream is moisturizer, right? Tinted moisturizer, so it's gonna leave a um, dewy finish. And I had a conversation yesterday. I was doing a consultation with a new client yesterday about BB cream, and she, was wondering if she put powder over the top of it, if it would dry her skin out. No, well, as long as you're dusting powder. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. Cause I like powder over the top of my BB cream because I don't like the dewy look. I like a matte look. I need the moisture, but I also like a really matte look. So I'll show you that. And it won't dry out your skin. Hi, hi Lisa. Oh, 
Okay, so it's Friday. We've been in the house of sick. My oldest has had the flu since Tuesday. Tuesday. This mama, this mama hasn't had a full night's sleep in three days. <laughs> I've been up in the middle of the night every night. My poor guy. He's just been struggling, sleeping, and fighting a fever, and we are on day four. But we've already taken him to the pediatrician. He's on his medication, and hopefully it's uphill now, and or downhill, however you want to look at it, and he's starting to get better. Okay, so look at the coverage. Look at Make sure you go down your neck. Because remember, everything needs to blend. That was the other thing that, hi Virginia, hi Jill. That was the other thing that um, I was talking about with my new client was that your foundation matches your neck and chest. Okay, you need it as one ca canvas. So, because we were talking about veins and skin tone, um, it doesn't really matter. I look at your neck and your chest and I'm gonna say your color is going to match that so that it, it's, it's, it's like, you know, you were born that way with perfect color. <laughs> from head to toe, okay? And if you're not sure of your color and you need um, some help with that, you just send me a quick selfie of your face and I will color match you. Cause girls, I'm an expert at it. Okay, let me get my little mirror here. <clears throat> All right, so this is good, I think. See that coverage? Look at the redness is all gone. And I got, oh my gosh, uber hydration. Now, girls, if you're oily, even in the winter time, <clears throat> stick with the liquid foundation, okay? <clears throat> Which dries to a powder. That's my go-to in the spring and summer. But, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're oily, that's gonna be yours. But if you're dry like me, then you wanna switch to BB cream in the fall winter. Even though I'm sitting in Arizona right now, hi Chrissy, and I have on a sleeveless shirt because it's 85 degrees here. It's vacation weather here in Arizona, but it's super dry. So my skin changes with the weather here as well. Next week I'll be in my Chicago home and I'll be freezing and even drier. Okay, I think we're good. I think I'm covered. Okay, so then, put that to the side. I like to dust the top of my face with powder. I mean, literally, I just dust it. And how you do it is take a big powder puff brush and that mats down your face. So if you, I mean, some of you love the dewy look and it's beautiful, it's really personal preference. Um, you love your BB cream, you've noticed that it's too oily for my forehead. Uh, Caitlin, for whatever reason, oh, what would you recommend for that? Um, Caitlin, so for your forehead, um, so it's, is it just your forehead that you're, um, oily or is it your T-zone? Like, is it your forehead, your nose, your chin? That's your, it's called your T-zone. Or is it just your forehead that you're noticing, uh, it becoming more oily? Just your forehead. Okay. So are you using setting powder? or setting spray at all, Caitlin. Okay, so this is what I do, right? I just, look at, so now it's all mat, matted down. I have, you're using setting spray. Okay, are you using setting spray after? Like after you've got everything done, that's how you set your makeup with setting spray? Because if that's the case, what I want you to do is spray the setting spray on your forehead um, after your primer. So put primer, set it, just do a spray on your forehead, setting spray, and then use your BB cream. And then still do your setting spray at the end and let me know if that works. That should help. Also, dusting a little bit of powder over the top, like I'm doing, is gonna help you as well. Elizabeth, this is Unique Pressed Powder. It's like so old, it's fallen. I'm like, I use, I don't use it very often. It's in the color taffeta. So it's just pressed powder. But do you see how it mats it down? Mm 
What what if you are away on the what if you are oily on the, I'm assuming oily. What if you're oily on the T T zone area? Um, if you're oily on the T zone area, Jackie, I would probably stick to the if, even in through fall and winter months, I would stick with the liquid foundation over the BB cream. Cuz the liquid foundations for all skin types. So if you tend to um, unless you're like super dry here and super oily here, then we need to combat that with skincare. I'm going to say that there isn't a foundation that's going to actually solve that. I'm going to say that we need to combat that with, we need to look at your skincare routine. Um, but if you're oily, if you tend to have oily skin, even in the fall and winter months, then I would stick with the fa liquid foundation. If you are someone who tends to get dry, like really dry in the winter and um, fall months, then switch to BB cream. All right, yeah, Caitlin, let me know how that goes. Okay, let's do concealer. So I'm going to do the color Organza. Mm, let me find my Organza. Okay. Organza. And I'm just going to use the back of my, um, you're welcome, Jackie. It feels so weird to say my name. <laughs> you know, because I, I don't know that many Jackies in my life, so it's just weird to say my own name. Okay, so we're gonna do a highlight. The concealer that I'm choosing is about two shades lighter than my foundation, and this is what's going to help my mom eyes um, wake up. <laughs> You're the same, yeah. It feels weird to say some your your name, right? <laughs> All right, so concealer. Let's wake up the eyes. So, you know, I just told you I haven't had a full night's sleep in three nights, but no one's gonna know that because <laughs> I have amazing concealer. So we're gonna make, and I kind of will go down, okay, so as we age, you know, this little area right here tends to darken as well and sags. <laughs> so here's some secrets. When you do your concealer, bring a little bit down towards your laugh lines and then top of the cheekbone and all the way out, okay? And then into the corner of the eye. I mean, first of all, first of all, I'm doing a Friday face. I am doing a full on Friday look. Like not, going to a ball kind of look like I'm not going to any event but just a hot like I want to look hot on Friday okay I'm gonna pretend that my husband and I are in the same state and we have a date <laughs> but we don't he's in Chicago right now I'm in um, Arizona maybe I'll pretend that I'm gonna meet Tom Selleck did you guys see my post about Tom Selleck I have been watching blue bloods Netflixing it and I only watch I watch two times I watch on an airplane I'll download them so I have something to watch on the airplane and I'll watch occasionally if I'm not doing a video of putting makeup on I'll put I'll stick it in just for background noise and Tom Selleck is yummy <laughs> Like what is he 70 years old? <laughs> He's got to be what in his late 60s Somebody tell me how old he is, but oh my gosh. He's sexy. All right, so this is full highlight. Anybody else agree with me? Anybody else think Tom Selleck's just hot? I mean, he's 20 years older than me. I was having this conversation with um, one of my clients as well yesterday about just, you know, older men that take care of themselves, like older. When I say older, I'm talking like 60s plus, okay? And they take care of themselves and they're still sexy. Tom Selleck would be one of them. Um, I know he's kind of weird, but Tom Cruise looks pretty good to me still. Uh, George Clooney, hello. Although I think he's in his 50s. He's not older, older. Okay, so I just sprayed down my blending bud with rose water and now we are going to blend this all out. Because look. <laughs> Tired mom eyes, gone away. And my eye, everyone keeps asking about my eye. Do you see that? 
I don't know how it happened. I just, I popped a blood vessel and I, I, I joke that maybe I was screaming at my kids because <clears throat> you know, there's a high probability I was, but I don't scream that loud. <laughs> in fact, I try not to yell. I really, really try not to yell. I hate yelling in the house. So I have no idea how I popped a blood vessel. But I, when I took my kid to the pediatrician, the pediatrician was like, um, are you okay? Like, I almost think that he looked at me like maybe I was getting abused. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, I have no idea how I did that and it doesn't hurt. And then he was like, were you lifting weights? <laughs> and I try to imagine myself lifting weights. <clears throat> like, like, you'd have to really exert yourself to pop a blood vessel like that. And I'm like, well, I do lift weights, but no, I don't exert myself that much. So yes, that, I have no idea. I just popped a blood vessel, there it is. Okay, so concealer's on, and then what I'll do is I like to also use um, pressed powder in the same color, and I like to just kinda go under the eye area as well. See that? looking better in it then setting powder setting powder setting powder setting powder girlfriends I know I put hashtag over 40 makeup in my body of my message here I don't care how old you are but if you are over the age of 35 you need setting powder it's just needs to be a staple it's a top five product that I will always keep if I have one I have none so I have backup all the time Setting powder softens and diffuses fine lines, wrinkles. It literally just, it like smudges everything out. Ah, oh, Craig, thank you. So look. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Lately what I've been doing, I actually told my girlfriend Muriel that I've been lately putting on eye primer. Okay, so I'm gonna use some eye primer on my eyes and then I put setting powder over the top of it and I'm really liking the way my shadow sits. So, okay, for those of you that have oily lids and struggle with creasing on your lids, first of all, use an eye primer. So that's an eye primer, okay, because that will help solve your problem. And then if you have super oily lids, then I would do eye primer and then do this. Take your setting powder, dust it in your eye, and then go onto the eye bed, and that will help too. But look at this! It's like cashmere on my face. Look at how smooth and soft that looks. Everybody needs this. If you wear makeup. It's like the best. It's the magical age eraser. And then I just kind of dust a little bit more everywhere else. I mean, I, I should bathe in this. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. Well, because honestly, Caitlin, I'm not kidding you. When I'm by myself, I do the same thing. I'm just like, oh, oh my gosh. I do. I look at myself and I'm like, I'm a hot mom now. <laughs> hey, makeup makes me feel hot. Isn't that what, all that matters is how I feel and what my husband says. All right, let's do some brows. Brows. We're gonna do the brow palette. <laughs> it's not just you. <laughs> no, I'm with you, girl. I'm with you. Okay, I'm using the brunette brow palette. I was gonna do liner, but yesterday, I had a girl ask me about the brow palette, so I told her I would do my next video using the brow palette. So I'm dipping into the wax. And I'm gonna go in there and tame these crazy brows of mine. So I kind of just flick the brush up and brush my hairs up with the brow wax. Okay, so that's gonna just kind of put my brows in place. Oh, my brows are getting really long. Does the brow palette come with the brush? Girlfriend, it did last month. Where were you? <laughs> Where were you? It was on sale last month with the brush. So no, it doesn't come with the brush. You gotta get the brush separate. I 
and there's two brushes. There's this brush that has a flat end, and then there is um, this brush that comes with a spoolie on the end, okay? Either one, either one will work. We're gonna do eyes today, you guys. We're gonna do brown and blue. Brown and blue, which is a pretty neutral. The palette I'm gonna use is palette four and it's a pretty neutral palette. And I'm gonna show you how you can make it fancy. Okay, so I've got brow wax on, kind of groomed my brows, and then I'm gonna take the dark color, okay? And then we're gonna line the bottom. So, funny story. I had another girlfriend of mine. She bought recently some cream shadows. I'm not gonna say her name, because I don't wanna embarrass her. Um, and I love her dearly. She bought some cream shadows from me, okay? And so she sends me pictures of what her looks like, and I love that, just, you know, send me pictures. I love, love, love getting pictures of what your makeup looks like on you. And she did such a good job, and it looked gorgeous. And she's a girl that doesn't wear a lot of makeup, okay? So she just did such a good job. It looks so sophisticated and beautiful. But all I could stare at was her brows. <laughs> so her brows weren't done. Do your brows. So I asked her, I'm like, you're so gorgeous. Can we talk about your brows now? <laughs> so we did. We're covering brows now so I can help her out. But do your brows. That's my point. Don't skip your brows. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Look at how much better that looks already, right? How much it uplifts my face. That's another reason. If you're, you know, aging and you want to preserve some youth naturally, do your brows. It gives you an eye lift. And the brow palette's my favorite. Because it's, the brow palette's forgiving. Aw, thank you, Christine. You know what? I gotta tell you this. I'll be honest with you. Christine wrote, you always look gorgeous even without makeup. I don't love the way I look without makeup. And, and I'm gonna say probably a good majority of you feel the same way about yourself. I don't hate myself. I still love myself. I don't hate myself. I just, when I take all my makeup off, I just feel like, oh, there's my 47 year old face. <laughs> but when I put makeup on, I feel, my insides feel 20, but at least I look in the mirror and I'm like, damn, I'm not too bad for 47, okay? <laughs> So I wanna make sure I send the right message that I don't think you should be ashamed of your age, at any age uh, at all, but girls, you do what you need to do to help yourself feel beautiful. And I think makeup, you know, it's proven makeup does that for women, a lot of women. And then I always say this too, you've heard me say it before, when we feel beautiful, boys, if you're listening, listen up. When we feel beautiful, we feel sexier. First of all, second of all, we are nicer. <laughs> we are nicer people. We are nicer to you, our spouses, our kids, our bosses, our mother-in-laws. We're nicer. I say, I'm joking. I love my mother-in-law. She's a sweetheart. But we are just, we're nicer people. We're also way more productive, okay, because we have confidence. Um, and when we're more productive, we get more shit done. You know what? I, I did a, um, I was a speaker at an event a few weeks ago, and this is kind of a joke, but not really. I clean the house better when I feel pretty. I put makeup on and my house is actually cleaner, okay? <laughs> Cause I'm like, I feel good, I have makeup on, and I'm just like, ready to go. If you work from home, my work, work from home moms, even if you don't like work, I'm, first of all, if you're a stay-at-home mom, that is a job. Um, do you get up and get ready? Even if you're staying home, do not stay in your sweats. 
get up, get ready, put some makeup on, put a face on. I'm telling you, it's way, you're just gonna enjoy life a little bit more. You're gonna feel more confident. You're gonna get more done. Do it for you, not for anyone else. Okay, so I'm going in now. So by the way, I put the light color on the top. And hey girls, if you're watching this, you're like, what is she doing and how, and I need a step-by-step, -step. I have brow tutorials. So you just let me know and I'll send you my brow tutorial on exactly how to do it. But right now I'm filling in the gaps with the dark. Filling in the gaps. So, what do you guys got going on this weekend? I, I'm going to the gym tonight. <laughs> Does anyone wanna join me? I'm going to the gym. Tomorrow I have a wedding and I'm very excited one of my good friends is getting married. So I have a wedding. I'm gonna to have to go get my nail fixed tomorrow. Um, I think I'll do wedding makeup tomorrow on my business page. So if you're gonna be around, you wanna see wedding makeup, we'll do that. I'm actually doing her makeup, so we'll do a before and after of her as well. Okay, then I'm going to take my spoolie and blend this. Hi, Eva. Blend, blend, blend. Blend and soften is what I like to do. Blend and soften. Matt. Hello, Matt. <laughs> All right. From there, I'm going to, okay, this is the cool thing. You're going to take your brush and dip it into the wax. And then I'm gonna dip it into the light color and I'm gonna draw on, you ready? I'm gonna draw on brows on the inner corner. So you turn your brush upside down and you just kind of flick on color. That's how you get it to look really natural, see that? So easy. And then I'll always use the spoolie, kind of just to soften. And then, my friends, let me show you another trick of how you get your brows to like stay all day. Because I, I don't want to think about my brows. I don't want to think about them once they're done. So I will use that magical setting powder again. And we are going to dust that over the top. You just kind of go in there and dust that over the top and there your brows are set. Set for the day. Brows are done. Moving on to eyes. Okay, let me show you the palette. We're gonna use a palette four. And we're gonna use a lot of colors in here. A lot of colors. Um, so let's just get to it. I think I'm also gonna do some liquid liner. Um, what color should we do? Should we do brown liquid liner? Let's do brown. We'll do brown liquid liner, and I'm also gonna use brown eyeliner. Okay, and look at the color lip we're gonna use today. It's called Stoic. So it's a really fall look. So let's get started. I'm gonna get some brushes ready to go. And we're gonna create this like amazing eye look. What's going on? 
I'm seeing some new faces uh, popping in and watching. If it's your first time watching, welcome to my video. <laughs> it's just me being weird and putting on makeup and transforming my face. And I'm just gonna get some brushes. Okay, so we're gonna start with, <coughs> excuse me, my brow bone. Okay, so in the brow palette, just so you know, it comes with highlighters for your brow bones, but I'm actually gonna use the highlighter from this palette in the color Tinder right here. It's really pretty. And we're gonna highlight my brow bone. So I'm just gonna use, um, this is called the bra liner shader brush, and I'm using the shader side. And we're gonna go in and just place it right onto my brow bone. So it's gonna give me this really pretty natural highlight. Excuse me. See that? So that's another trick that's gonna um, draw your eye up. Ladies, listen up, this is a tip. If you're gonna do a shimmer highlight, okay, so this is like a really sophisticated shimmer. This is not Bonnie Bell, okay? This is not your drugstore um, teenage makeup, okay? This is sophisticated makeup. So when I say shimmer, don't think glitter. It's not glitter. But if you're going to do that on your brow bone, you cannot also do a shimmer on the entire lid, okay? It's too much shimmer. And then you kinda, I'm gonna start calling you Mabel and you might as well put on a bright peach lip that's bleeding and overdrawn and rouge, <laughs> rosy rouge cheeks to match, okay? Just don't do it. Okay, matte. If you're gonna do a highlight on the brow bone, which I highly recommend you do to help uplift your eyes, then everything else needs to be matte, okay? In that area. Now, I'm gonna accent that brow bone area with another shimmer color, but it's just gonna pop underneath my matte. So I'll show you that color here. It is called Honest, and it's like a light bluish, blueish. And I'm using a big blending brush, and that's gonna go in to the crease, and it's gonna pull up. So it's gonna pull up above my crease, and this blue is just gonna really subtly pop out from underneath the look that I'm going for today. See how it's not blue-blue, it's like blue-ish. I don't know how to describe that color, but it's called Honest. side okay so I was telling you about my weekend so I have a wedding Saturday night that's right. I'm not really exciting I don't really do a whole lot uh, that's it <laughs> uh, watch some football probably on Sunday maybe a little bit I'm going to be lashing clients and working on my makeup business that's kind of what I'll do I have no kids this weekend. It's a kid-free weekend for me. I'm actually in Arizona this weekend, which is rare. No husband. The house is gonna be quiet. Okay, so there it is, honest. Then, you okay, baby? Mav, you all right? Okay. Then we're gonna go in, <coughs> excuse me, with Brave. 
which is this dark brown. Okay, and Brave is gonna go into the crease. So I'm taking a crease brush. Oh, I don't even wanna use this. Do I wanna use this? Yeah, I'm gonna use this first. I'm gonna go in with the crease brush. I'm gonna pack the color right into the crease. So <clears throat> here's the trick. I'm gonna pack the color, which means I'm gonna make it really, really dark in the crease and I'm not gonna move it out of the crease. I'm gonna use another br a blending brush to actually move it out of the crease. Because I want that honest blue to peek out from underneath this dark brown. And I'm going to the inner corner. Mm -hmm. I sure am. And then I'm also going to use this on the bottom. So it's packed in here, and then I'm gonna take it with the same brush and go on the bottom. All right, let's do the other side. So the trick sometimes with doing multiple colors, first of all, these palettes are awesome because it's a no-brainer, okay? You don't have to worry about what goes with what. The palettes are put together by professional makeup artists so that you can't screw it up. You, all the colors go together, okay? And then you just get to have fun with the combinations that you wanna do. But the trick sometimes to getting it to look really good is the blending. Okay, blending the colors. So sometimes your tools are gonna make the biggest difference. So a crease brush, it packs color in that area. So you notice it's packed color in. So it's where you want it dark and dense. And I want my creases dark and dense in that area. And then we'll move it around with a different brush. And I'm using this, this is a fat crease brush, and you'll notice it kind of gives me that smoky bottom eye look, which I really like. Okay, then I'm gonna take another blending brush. And then we're gonna take that blending brush, and I'm gonna, I'm not, I don't have any product on it, it's just a dirty brush, <laughs> okay? There's no, make, there's no other eyeshadow on there. And I'm just going to go in here and blend. So it's what it's gonna do is it's gonna transfer the color slightly above my brow bone. It's gonna soften it, you see that? See how that's harsh and this is kinda getting soft? And so that honest blue really just peeks out from underneath. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Who's got Monday off? That's what I want to know. Who has Monday off? Do you in the corporate world get Columbus Day off? Like I work for myself, so I don't have any days off. But I, that's my choice. I like to work. Um, but I can take off whenever I want. I don't have to like, you know, wait for a day off. But I wanna know, if you work in the corporate world, do you get, is Columbus Day a corporate holiday? It's a bank holiday, right? It's a, I know it's a bank holiday. Cause I got a notification from my bank saying, hey, your, your direct deposit's not happening on Monday. Okay, look at that, isn't that pretty? Yes, it is Jackie, tell me. Okay, I'm gonna go in and just darken a little bit more. That crease.
All right, from there, I'm gonna take my deluxe brush and we are going to put on this really pretty blue color. <clears throat> Ta -ta. Okay, this is the color we're gonna do. We're gonna do cheerful, isn't that pretty? And that's gonna go onto the bed of my eyeball. And I'm just using a deluxe brush. So it's not, it's, it, it's, you can make it dark if you want to, but it's not super dark. It's not like a navy blue, but it's so pretty. It's kind of like, I don't know how to describe this blue. It's not a light blue. It's not like a baby blue, but it's a blue. But you see what it does to my, I love that look. And it's very fall. Browns and blues together are just a gorgeous fall color. Now, what do you think? I think that looks so good. More blue. A little more blending. Okay, I'm also gonna do, let me show you this cool brush. <clears throat> it's called a angled sponge brush. Okay, this is the sponge. We're gonna use the sponge. We're gonna load it up with some color and I'm gonna plant that really close to my lash line to see what that does and it really makes that color pop oh my gosh makeup is so fun Hello, eyes. All right, I think we're golden with the shadow. So I have to like move my tools out of the way when I move on to the next step because they annoy me if they just sit there in front of me. It's a little bit OCD of myself, isn't it? Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use, I'm not gonna do black eyes. I'm going to do brown. We're going to do like a really fun brown look. And I'm going to use brown eyeliner. I want dark brown. That's not the color I want. Let's do dark brown. And the color I'm using is proper, okay, which is a dark, dark brown. And I'm going to put that on my bottom lid. So I'm actually tight lining, which means I'm going on the inner rim of my lid. And that's really gonna help that brown shadow pop out underneath. I'm also going to tight line my upper lid. Okay, now I'm gonna use liquid liner, girls. This is the color brown and liquid liner. Rick, I wanna show you a liquid liner hack. Because liquid liner, I know a lot of people struggle with. This one in particular has a really, 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 really fine um, tip to it, so it's pretty easy to use. But I promised that I would show a way, a hack, how to make it easier, how to use liquid liner. Because liquid liner gives you that sleek, sharp 
dark liner look, no matter what color you use. So I wanna show you a hack on how to make it really simple for yourself. So we start with pencil. I know, my eye is gross. My eyeball, anyways. So my inner rims are done. <laughs> this eye looks like it hurts, doesn't it? But it doesn't, I promise you. Then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my pencil and I'm gonna go really, really close to my lash line and I'm going to just draw a little line there, okay? Just a little line there. You could do this with black, you could do this with blue, <clears throat> we're using brown. Okay, and then I'm also gonna connect the corners and I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a wing. Mama loves a wing. We're not talking chicken wings. I can't help it, I'm going a bigger wing. Cause why? It's Friday. Look at the difference it does to my eyes. Now this <clears throat> look by itself, just the pencil, is fine, right? But I wanna show you how to use liner, liquid liner. Because I often will get, and this might be you too, right? I love the look of liquid liner, but I suck at putting it on. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a hack, how to make it really easy. You start with pencil. And I'll tell you, I suck at it too. Okay, I suck at it too. So this is my secret to making it look perfect. You start with pencil liner. You wipe your nose because it's running. <laughs> Only if it is. Hang on. Okay, you take your liquid liner, okay? This is called dip and draw. <clears throat> dip and draw. And let me show you the brush, okay? It's a brush. Look at that, look at how teeny, teeny, tiny that is. Makes it really, really easy to put on, okay? And then you're going to trace over the top of your pencil. That's all it is. And then you get that sleek, liquid liner look. I love this hack. See that? Well, hello, Lina. I love that. Did you see how easy that was? And now I've got this like really beautiful sleek liquid liner and it's in brown. All right, pulling it out. Hi, Chris. Hi.
Voila! <clears throat> now, something that I like to do is I really like a smoky bottom eye. So I'll go back in with my crease brush, go back in with that brown, and I'm just gonna bring it underneath my liner a little bit. It kind of ties the bottom to the top. Like that. How are we doing? <clears throat> How are the eyes coming along? Yes? Yes or no? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know if you're watching. <clears throat> okay. Let me put my liners away. Let's move on, okay? Move on from here to lashes. So we're gonna do we're gonna do the ultimate lash trio. But first of all, Part one of the trio has already been done. Shoot, I should have done it for you this morning. This is called a steam lash serum. This is what helps my lashes grow and look thicker. Okay, so I use this every day. Every day, you can use it morning and night. I usually use it at night. Okay, this is Epic Mascara. This is step two of the ultimate lash trio. This is like the ultimate lashes. This is Friday lashes, girls. Of course, I wear them on Monday too, but for some of you who don't like a lot of drama, this is Friday Lashes. So first, we are going to start with, it's like a little brush hair right here, bottom. So I'm using Epic Mascara in black, but it comes in brown. I'm so messing up that outer corner. Big time. Okay, wiggle at the base. Get the base really, really good. So open up your eyes really, really big. Get the base really, really good. And then look down and pull the product from the mid tip, mid to tip. Now this Epic Mascara is like, it is the best mascara on the planet. I am, I can I'm a self-professed lash queen. Seriously, I am. I know everything in regards to lashes, products for lashes. And I'm telling you right now, this is the best mascara. I use it every day. I like it because it gives me length, it gives me volume, and it separates my lashes. Mm -hmm. One coat. Gosh, every time I look down, my eyeball is just it looks like someone punched me in the face. And it's kind of yellow. What does that mean? Any eye experts out there? I don't have any pussing. There's no crusties, but it looks a little yellow. There's no itching, no pain. Okay, so that is one coat of Epic Mascara. Now we're gonna go in with two coats. This is going to be step two, okay? And um, oh, we're already on step two, because step one was the Steam Lash Serum. Step two is Epic Mascara. Now we're, step three is combining um, Epic with the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. Go get it checked out. 
The damage was permanent? Oh, Caitlin, that freaks me out. <laughs> okay, I will have to, because it looks pretty bad. All right, second coat of Epic Mascara. It's like yellow. I've popped blood vessels before, but I don't think I've ever seen yellow. So second coat of Epic Mascara from mid to tip. I'm gonna coat them really good because I'm gonna put the 3D fiber lashes on the top. So I'll take the fibers from the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara and I'm gonna close my eyes almost all the way and go from mid to tip. You do not need to go to the lash line. And then bam, lashes. Bam. Bam. Okay, 3D fibers. Voila! Okay. Caitlin, that's good to know. Uh, let's see. Learned this last week my daughter was treated for a sinus infection and double ear infection. All right. Yeah, it's definitely like, it's not, like it's looking a little yellow. It's looking a little yellow. Okay, Caitlin, I'm gonna take your advice. Okay, so once the fibers are on, I actually, I'm gonna leave those for a second. I'm gonna go back in with my Epic Mascara and just do a second coat only because it's Friday, on my bottom lashes. Yes, better safe than sorry. And then I'm gonna take the gel, okay, from my 3D fiber lash mascara and that's what coats the fibers. I really like using the gel at the end too because it kind of helps also continue to separate. Because look at those lashes. Look at them. I'm nice up and close and personal for you so you can see that these are my lashes with great mascara. That's the ultimate lash trio. You need the Esteem, Esteem Serum, okay, to get your natural lashes to grow. You need Epic Mascara, that's gonna be your daily mascara. And then you need the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara for just some weekend, some weekend lashes, girls. So. Okay, eyes are done, eyeballs are done. We are gonna move on from there to Spanx for your face. Mm -hmm. Spanx for your face. What mom doesn't want a little Spanx in her life? I have a funny story about Spanx, but I can't share it here. <laughs> but I've, some of you know my story about Spanx. You can laugh, it's an inside joke. Okay, so I'm using, I love this. This is my favorite thing to use for contouring, okay? And it is a luminizer stick and the color opaline. So I'm gonna take that and we are going to sculpt my face. Hi, Monica. 
then we're gonna blend this pupper out. So I'm using, this is called a highlight contour brush. So you're gonna use the contour side of it to blend. Who's, the, who's going to go see that movie? Um, A Star is Born. I, I, you know, I don't really know anything about it. I didn't see the original, the first one. So I don't know anything about it, but I'm kinda, it's a, there's a lot of hype. And I kinda wanna know what the hype's about. Have you seen that video going around on Facebook? Yes, I posted it, Caitlin. I think I, um, or maybe not, maybe not that one. I posted one where she bought um, a waist thing Yes, I think it's that one. And then it rolls up, right, on top of her and she can't get them off. <laughs> it's like, I watched it three times and every time I watched it, I think I laughed a little harder and a little louder. <laughs> it's hysterical. And she was like calling for her kids to help her. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Caitlin, I was dying. I shared it because I'm like, this is too good to share. Boys won't understand it, but us girls, yeah, we know. What's up, Johnny? Johnny, you missed mom. Hot mom is emerging. <laughs> Hot mom is almost done. All right, so contouring the forehead is really gonna create some warmth. Do you see that? And then, do I do this jaw, do this jaw? We gotta do the nose. I love this brush for blending this all out. <clears throat> yeah, I don't wear Spanx, Caitlin. Do you? I used to, <laughs> like the tights, uh, a long time ago because I liked how they s sucked things in, but I, I don't know. I find them really uncomfortable now. In the winter, I used to wear the tights, but I don't anymore, because I think they're uncomfortable. Okay, so that was Spanx for your face. That's all blended out. Let's do, I like to do a little bit. Yeah, the video is freaking hysterical. And I'm gonna do uh, a little bronzer, just a little bit. That might've been a little too much. <laughs> Bronze are everywhere. And then some blush, and then wait till you see this lip that I'm gonna do. Alright, I'm gonna use the blush spirited. Okay? Isn't that pretty? And it's got little gold specks in it. Like very, very subtle gold specks in it. So you kind of get this like really natural highlight. Too much, Jack.
Blush. Okay, lip. <clears throat> We're almost done. We're going to do a lip. A really fun lip. And I'm going to use a rustic brown, but we're going to really make it sexy. Okay? So, Friday lip. Here we go. We are going to take Prim. Okay? This is my lip liner, and I'm going to line my lips first. And I'm gonna overdraw, so I'm gonna give myself some really big fat lips. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. I can always count on you, Craig. You know what? If I need someone to really uplift my spirits, you're the guy. <laughs> okay, so you can see the making of my plump pout. Thank y'all. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take Rustic, okay? It's called Stoic is the color, and you know what? It might be half off. You have to look on the website. It might be half off. And we're gonna put that on next. It's a rustic brownish color, but we're gonna sex it up. Did I say that out loud? We're gonna make it look hot. That's what I meant to say. We're gonna make it look hot and sexy. Okay, here we go. So I'll start with the inside lip and then I will smack my lips together. And then I love this brush because the tip is pointy so I can really get precise placement of this product. Can you see what I'm doing? And by the way, this little guy, this tube, will last you forever. You won't be messaging me saying I run out of lipstick. Isn't that a nice color? Oh my gosh. Okay, so from there, we're not done. I mean, this is really, really beautiful. It's a matte rustic brown, so it's awesome by itself. Like, I could rock this color by itself, but I'm gonna show you some really fun tricks. We're gonna take a little tissue and we're gonna blot this. Okay, so let's blot it. 
This is long wearing lip, okay? This is liquid lipstick, long wearing. Okay, so it doesn't just come off. You gotta take it off, okay? All right, remember when I put on my under eye, if you've been watching this long, thank, you know, hallelujah, thank you very much. <clears throat> But if you haven't, and just tuning in, earlier in the video, I put on under eye highlight, a concealer, and I used the back of my rose water lid, and I've got leftover. So we're gonna take the leftover using my ring finger, and we're going to dab that right in the center. Hi, Mom. My mother just joined, so now I have to behave. <laughs> okay, and you're going to dab that right into the center of your lip. Oh, we need more. which is going to look at, see what it does? It makes your lip look a little more plump. A little more, a little more. And then, we're not done, we're not done, we're not done. Hold on, no, I kind of messed up a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit, you can't even see it. But we gotta fix it real quick. Okay, and then, remember the highlight that I used on my eyes? Again, assuming you've been watching this long. If you haven't, let me show it to you. I used this palette, and this was the highlight I did up underneath my brow bone. I'm gonna take that color, and I'm gonna put that on the center of my lips, too. So, let me clean off my ring finger. And we're gonna put a little bit of that in the center. See that? What do you think? Isn't that a pretty sexy lip? Okay, setting spray to set this makeup and I am, well, almost done. Thank you, Caitlin. So that's gonna set my makeup for the day, okay? And let me fix my mom hair. Voila! <laughs> mom to hot mom. <laughs> Thanks for tuning out with, tuning out, tuning in with me today. <clears throat> if you've been watching this long, I love you. <laughs> Thanks for entertaining me. I love doing this. I love the transformation. I love the art of makeup. I love every second of it, actually. Okay? I hate showering and I hate doing my hair, but I love putting on makeup. Um, if you have watched this and you're like, I need a few of those things, let me tell you what's on sale. Because <clears throat> every month we have a sale. And what's on sale right now are some of the things that I used on my face today. BB cream. Okay, it's, this is a bundle that you get 30% off total. So you get BB cream, you get liquid eyeliner, any color you want, by the way, and I'll color match you if you need help. You also get, what else do you get? Oh, you get lipstick. So I use the color Stoic, okay, and there are like 20 colors to choose from, so any color you want. And then I don't have it yet, I'm waiting for it. I get it on Tuesday in the mail, but you get a makeup bag. I ordered two of them. Okay, and you get a cute little makeup bag with lips all over it. So that is 30% off. Go to, I'll put the link where you can order this um, in the comments, okay, when I'm done. So, um, and then of course, if you need help with anything else, feel free to message me. That's what I do all day, is just help women with their makeup needs. 
okay, or skincare, and I totally enjoy it. That's all I have. Have a great weekend. Talk soon. Ciao.